Hello, it's Jane. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment, please, with Charlotte. Uh, for tomorrow afternoon, if possible. Tracy could do you at 2.30. She's our top stylist. That's fine. OK. And that's for? A trim and highlights. Trim and highlights. Uh, short at the sides and longer at the back, please. I want a step. A bit like that, but short on the top. OK, fine. In today's programme, we are at the hairdressers. A visit to the hairdresser's salon and the barber's shop. How to make an appointment. And how to say what you want. And in conversation, talking about your plans. You can listen to a young businessman on the subject of success. And then there's Meter Man. At the hairdresser's. Everyday English. Hello, it's Jane. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment, please, with Charlotte. Yes, of course. When would you like the appointment? Tomorrow afternoon, if possible. How about 2.30? And that's for? I'd like a cut and blow dry, please. Yes, that's lovely. Thank you. Goodbye. Antonio's is a popular salon, situated in a stylish shopping arcade. Hello, can I make an appointment for tomorrow, please? Who usually does your hair for you? I haven't been here before. Would you like morning or afternoon? Afternoon, please. Afternoon. Okay. Tracy could do you at 2.30, she's our top stylist. That's fine. And that's for? A trim and highlights. That's 2.30 then, Thursday with Tracy. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. You. Bye. Here's a helping hand with making an appointment. Hello, it's Jane. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment, please, with Charlotte. I'd like to make an appointment, please. Hello, can I make an appointment for tomorrow, please? Can I make an appointment for tomorrow, please? When would you like the appointment? When would you like the appointment? Tomorrow afternoon, if possible. Tomorrow afternoon, if possible. Would you like morning or afternoon? Would you like morning or afternoon? Afternoon, please. Afternoon, please. And that's for? And that's for? I'd like a cut and blow dry, please. A cut and blow dry, please. And that's for? And that's for? A trim and highlights. A trim and highlights. By the way, the hairdressers is a good place for a chat. Have you made any plans for your holiday? Yes, we're going to Spain this year, in July. Oh, lovely. What part of Spain? Uh, Malaga. It's very nice there. We've been before. How about you? We're going to Scotland in September. So the wedding's tomorrow, is it? That's right, at 2.30. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a new dress, yellow, with a wide hat. Oh, lovely. We're moving house, you know. Oh, really? Yes, we've sold our house. Oh, where are you moving to? We're going up north, to Yorkshire. Oh, I'm sorry, when are you leaving? In June. How's your son? Oh, he's fine. He's leaving school this summer. Is he really? Doesn't time fly? How old is he now? He's nearly 18. He takes his driving test next week. A helping hand. Listen again. They are talking about plans for the future, using the present continuous form of the verb. Have you made any plans for your holiday? Yes, we're going to Spain this year in July. We're going to Spain this year. We're going in July. How about you? We're going to Scotland in September. We're taking our holiday in September. We're going to Scotland. They use the present continuous to talk about plans for the future. So the wedding's tomorrow, is it? That's right, at 2.30. And what are you wearing? And what are you wearing? I'm wearing a new dress, yellow, with a wide hat. I'm wearing a new dress with a wide hat. We're moving house, you know. We're moving house. Oh, where are you moving to? Where are you moving to? We're going up north to Yorkshire. We're going up north 
to Yorkshire. When are you leaving? When are you leaving? In June. We're leaving in June. How's your son? Oh, he's fine. He's leaving school this summer. He's leaving school this summer. Specialised English. Lee Church is the proprietor of an old-fashioned barber's shop. A lot of men prefer to come to an old-fashioned men-only barber shop. We do hair cutting, washing, and you can have your beard trimmed. How much does it cost for a haircut? It costs four pound fifty. Oh, that's quite reasonable. How much does it cost for a shampoo? It costs seven pounds fifty to have your hair shampooed and cut. How much does it cost to have my beard trimmed? It costs one pound fifty. Very good. Some of my customers come once a month to have their hair cut. Some of them are often, say, twice a month. I have my hair cut once a month, uh, on average. Oh, I think uh, probably twice a month. I go to the barbers perhaps three or four times every year. I quite like my hair long. Now, here's a helping hand. Lee tells us what services he offers at his barber's shop. We do hair cutting, washing, and you can have your beard trimmed. You can have your beard trimmed. That's have plus noun beard plus past participle trimmed. Have your beard trimmed. You can have your hair cut. You can have your moustache clipped. And next, ask about the price and listen to the answer. How much does it cost for a haircut? How much does it cost for a haircut? It costs £4.50. It costs £4.50. How much does it cost to have a shampoo? How much does it cost to have a shampoo? It costs £7.50 to have your hair shampooed and cut. It costs £7.50. How much does it cost to have my beard trimmed? How much does it cost to have my beard trimmed? It costs £1.50. It costs £1.50. And finally, questions about frequency. How often? I have my hair cut once a month, uh, on average. Once a month? Probably twice a month. Twice a month. I go to the barbers perhaps three or four times every year. Three or four times every year. Blades is a hairdressing salon for men and women, located in a residential area. How would you like your hair cut today? I'd like about half an inch off, but um, nothing off the fringe, please. So just to tidy up, really? Yes. What's it going to be today? Are you going to have a permanent tint? Oh, no, I've decided not. So how would you like me to cut it? I want it shorter at the sides and longer at the back, please. How do you want me to cut it? I want a step, a bit like that, but shorter on the top. OK, fine. Would you like some mousse? Yes, please. Not too much. Would you like it turned up or would you like it going under? The top and sides under, please, but the back up. Do you have the clippers? Yes, all right. Do you have grade one or two? Number two, please. There you are. How's that? Yes, I really like it. Would you like some spray? Yes, please. Hmm, I think it really suits me. Here we are. Do you like it? I'm not sure. What do you think? 
I think he looks really good. Yes, I, th I think I agree. Thank you very much. That's for you. Thank you very much. How'd you like that? Oh, no, that's too short. I didn't want it that short. Oh, I think it really suits you. It looks really good. A helping hand. Explaining what you want to the hairdresser is never easy. This will help you. First, listen to the question. How would you like your hair cut today? How would you like your hair cut today? What's it going to be today? You're going to have a permanent tint. What's it going to be today? How do you want me to cut it? How do you want me to cut it? Next, explain what you want. I'd like about half an inch off, please, but nothing off the fringe. I'd like about half an inch off, but nothing off the fringe. I want it shorter at the sides and longer at the back, please. I want it shorter at the sides and longer at the back, please. I want a step, a bit like that, but shorter on the top. I want a step, a bit like that. Listen to these questions. Would you like some mousse? Would you like some mousse? Would you like it turned up or would you like it going under? Would you like it turned up or would you like it going under? Do you have the clippers? Do you have the clippers? And finally, giving an opinion. I think it really suits me. I think it really suits me. I think it looks really good. I think it looks really good. That's too short. I didn't want it that short. It's too short. I didn't want it that short. <laughs> Dee is the owner of Blades Hairdressing Salon. These are the tools of the trade. My scissors, I always use my own scissors, my brushes, my comb and my clips and my hair dryer. The products I use are shampoo, different types of shampoo for different types of hair, conditioner to give body and shine and various types of hairsprays and gels to finish off. Let's look at the vocabulary again. There are some useful noun patterns. First, some countable nouns. Scissors, or a pair of scissors. Brush and brushes. Remember that when the singular noun ends in S or SH, then the plural has ES. Comb and combs. Clips. A hairdryer. Next, some uncountable nouns. Shampoo. Conditioner. Mousse. Hairspray. Yes, I, th I think I agree. Thank you very much. Finally, a tip is money that you give to the stylist if the service was good. Clients usually give a tip to the hairstylist, but unfortunately, not always. But remember, you are the customer, so it's up to you. How do you like that? Oh no, that's too short. A personal view. Paul Reynolds runs a successful hairdresser's salon just off the busy high street. Why has he chosen such a small and hidden street? Hairdressing is not his only business. How are photography and furniture design connected to hairdressing? Find out what makes Paul successful and where does he get his energy from? The satisfaction that one gets from making somebody look good 
never, never leaves you. And it's something to this day that makes me still feel proud. I think the salon used to be looked at as a, an effeminate place for men, yes. Because if you remember, we did come from hairdressing was in cubicles at one stage. The men went to the barbers, women were in, in their cubicles. Very private thing. And now we don't treat men any differently. There's nothing special for men or special for women. And, you know, only the toilets. When I started my business, I mean, I, t I took the business plan to the bank, which they accepted, and I came straight out looking for a salon. And I found a salon and I was after a very cheap rent. I, I'm slightly off the main high street here, but my rent is 10 times less than the shop 25 yards away from me. We have to work very hard to get people in here because we are down an alleyway. And so public relations plays a very large part in our company. For example, photo work. We do lots of magazine work to bring people in here because they're not going to walk off the street. We need to get that business in many other ways. Run more towards me. Good. Stay. Well done. About three or four times a year, we have a very big photo shoot where we, we drive up to a big studio in London and um, hire professional models from all the uh, London agencies. It does work out very expensive, but I've, I have learnt my lesson in doing cheap ones. Cheap photography does not work because a lot of hairdressing magazines are international. Obviously, they've seen it in other countries, picked up on it, and that's how I became invited to going on to Germany. And I've done lots and lots of seminars and shows over there now in uh, uh, Hamburg, Kiel, Neumünster, and uh, Cologne. There are 12 staff in the salon, and they're all trained here to start with, uh, all the basic training is done here and then we then start sending them uh, on paid for courses. So they come back with their little diploma which to them is their trophy and it makes me feel proud, makes them feel proud and the clients like to see that we're all highly trained. Sunday evening. We went into design because we looked at the retail hairdressing products and found that they had lots of little gaps that I, I was interested to fill, uh, as in retail stands for their products, why they weren't looking good and why they weren't working. And since then we've gone into designing salon furniture and retail stands. So we actually designed one which was um, flat packed. And so it cut costs for the company uh, to import and export because most hairdressing retail products are worldwide. So the fact that they can send something smaller is going to save them a fortune. The key to my success, well, I think the key to any success is hard work. But linked in with hard work, I think it's variety. I wake up every morning and there's something different to do. I can come in here one day, I can go designing the next day, I can do a photo shoot the next day. It keeps my drive strong, and if your drive is strong, staff around you become strong too. Meter Man is my name. Reading meters is my game. I know everyone. Everyone knows me Read your meter and Have a cup of tea Oh, hello you just caught me in the act. I was just looking at my reflection in the window. I've decided I need a haircut. I always come here, you know. This is a his and hers hairdressers. This is where I go. This is the his side. And this 
is hers. Now, what I don't understand is the difference in prices. It's far more expensive for the ladies. Perhaps the service is better. Still, I've always wanted to try the ladies' side, and perhaps today I will. Yes, sir, how can I help you? Yes, good morning. I'd like a dry cut, yes, a blow dry, a cut and blow dry, and a shampoo and set. Yes, sir. Do you have an appointment? Of course not. I am known here. Yes, sir. Um, right, Chris is available now. Would you like to come through? Thank you very much indeed. This way, sir, to the gent, sir. This way. If you don't mind, I'd like to try the ladies today. Ladies, sir, but I think you'd be more comfortable in the gent, sir. This way. Equality of the sexes. We don't want any discrimination now, my dear, do we? Of course not, sir. Well, if you insist, then follow me, please. Thank you, you very much. This way, sir. Lisa, I have a gentleman client for you. Hello. How do you do, my How dear? How do you do? Would you like to come over? Right, what can we do for you? My dear, I would like the works. That's one of our little sayings, you know, the works. Right, let's see what we can do for you then. Ah, oh, I think we need a shampoo first. Take your glasses. And don't forget the conditioner, the gel, and the mousse. Well, that meter man's asked for the works. Well, if he wants the works, he's going to get the works, and we're going to charge him as well. Yes. Could you put that down, please? Could you help me? Could you hold the front so I can put it on? What? Like this? That's it. No. And push it down. That's it. Um, I can't see anything. Ow. 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 Oh. Oh. I'm going to call food my boyfriend. Really? Mm. Cool. When's that then? Oh, probably the end of the year. Are you going away, my dear? Yes, I am, actually. I'm going away to Greece with my friends. Oh, that's very nice. Yes. Where are you going? Oh, I shall be going to the Isle of Wight on my bicycle, as usual. Oh, lovely. I've been there for the last 19 years now. Very nice. Don't you give ladies coffee and magazines? Yes, girls. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Here we go, sir. Sir? Uh, no, thank you. Are you sure, sir? Yes, thank you very much. There you go. So lovely, isn't it? Bleach. Manicure. Cut shampoo and blow dry. I would like it brushed and back combed. Six copies. Mm. 
and damage to the salon. £79.99. I'm really looking forward, ladies, to seeing the result of all your hard work. Here's your bill, sir. £254. And a nice, generous tip for Lisa. Use your eyes. Use your eyes if you want a haircut. For men, the red and white pole is the sign of an old-fashioned barber's shop. Why a red and white pole? It's symbolic. In the old days, barbers didn't only cut your hair and trim your beard, they also shaved and they even used to do the job of a surgeon. The red and white pole symbolized the blood and the bandages of the surgeon. But don't worry, nowadays the sign is just a symbol. Today, most hairdressers are for both men and women. You can learn a lot from the window displays. The products they use. The style of the salon. Explaining what you want is sometimes a problem, but many salons have photographic displays to help you. And many have style books with photographs. Do you want something like this? A suntan makes you look healthy, even in winter. But do be careful. Here, they have creams to protect your skin. Now, when are they open? And how much does it cost? There are many beauty treatments and therapies on offer, as you will see if you look in the window displays. Are you looking for something really different? Here is somewhere where you can change the way you look completely. It's a wig shop. Why not go in and try on a wig? In the student's book, you will find grammar, exercises and supplementary texts to work on. Next week's programme is about weekend sports. Be ready to join us then. Goodbye.